Well, many people experience brain fog, confusion, and memory problems with COVID-19. And now scientists are unlocking the mystery behind how the virus affects the brain. Maybe that explains some of the things that have come out of our mouths over the last couple of weeks, right? <laughs> In this Positively 50 Plus report, Heather Simonson explains how a Utah man wonders if he'll ever be the same. When you have a knack for something, tell me the address I find it. It's hard when it's gone. Yeah, I'm just I'm putting in the uh, destination. Will Mosley was good with directions, not anymore. I don't want to have any problems and be stuck somewhere and then panic that I'm not don't know where I'm at. He got a serious case of COVID in June. My focus was seemed seemed messed up from like the first couple few days after that. Now he can't remember how to get to work. I drove it for 24 years. The cognitive stuff is so screwed up. My memory. Research published in Nature shows loss of smell, altered brain function, and stroke are the most common neurological syndromes with COVID. The sicker you are, the higher the risk. Scientists found a high proportion of patients admitted to intensive care units with COVID develop delirium. Direct infection of the brain is probably not what's causing the problems. Dr. David Roman Renner says it's from inflammation from the body's attempt to fight the virus. When the immune system is trying to fight off this COVID virus, spilling chemicals which should help do it. In the process, those chemicals which can help can also hurt the nervous system. I grabbed the wrong keys. Will's memory is so bad. You find you're grabbing the wrong key yeah, more often yeah. for things? He had to retire early. Just slicing up apples here. A fruit he loves but can no longer taste. I keep hoping though. He wonders if he'll ever heal. Am I gonna be okay one day? Am I gonna feel like I was before all this? I don't know, there's like a big, huge question mark in my head. Dr. Renner is optimistic, saying most will improve over time. However, there are some individuals who do feel that their symptom improvement plateaus and some are indeed left with longer term residual like that. In the meantime, Will counts his blessings. When you're at your worst, you're thinking really down, you get down, you start thinking about how much people care about you. And hopes for better days ahead. Oh, totally. For Positively 50 Plus, Heather Simonson, KSL 5 News. Heather, thank you. If you're experiencing cognitive problems associated with COVID, experts say it's best to see your doctor to rule out any other problems that could potentially be the cause.